got the juice, man. All right, we're heading out to San Antonio. We're gonna do some campaigning for Jessica Cisneros. Oh. She's running in uh, District 25, and uh, that covers uh, a bit of South Texas and with a little sliver that goes up into San Antonio. That's OG Gary, by the way, in case you was wondering. Triple, triple. Yeah. yeah. What? Oh, okay, do the original Starbucks that you said? Yeah. Okay. If you're closer to that one, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, we're 13 minutes away from there. Made it to San Antonio trying to make this happen. Hello. Hi, Lorena. Nice, nice to meet you. you. What's up? So, that. This is down the minivan, and then I'll guide you through that. So right now we're canvassing for. Yeah, right now we're canvassing for Jessica Cisneros in this neighborhood. All right, what's going on next? We're going right up the middle, so we're gonna make a right or left. A low-income neighborhoods would be a better, would be a really good fit. He's got a way of communicating that really connects with people. This two-party duopoly is, is obviously corrupt and this is not, you know, this isn't a uh, democracy. Alright, we're off. Um, what, where are we going? Uh, she said that she texted you the address of her She texted me the address. Seven minutes away. So yeah, we're going to a panel discussion on immigration's impact on the San Antonio area, I guess. I don't know. Um, and, uh, continue on Callahan Road for Jessica half a Jessica Cisneros, mile. candidate for District yep. 28. Jessica Cisneros, candidate. She is... Uh, she's an immigration attorney, so that's why I like jumped on this event when she mentioned it. Yeah, that's a good point. Because that's the end. She's an immigration attorney, uh, civil rights immigration attorney, and so they should be receptive to her and her message. First, when I started my company, it was me, my wife, and my brother. The biggest issue, like I said before, is not knowing what to do, like you were saying. How do, you, how do I report taxes? Uh, how do I get this permit? How do I get insurance? It's always tough. And uh, right now, I feel like it's, it's, it's getting better. And that's because I, I had the amazing opportunity to go to college here in the U.S. And when I got involved with education, I was able to connect with my professors, you know, more people who know the system. What do you believe is the role of undocumented uh, students and what their families, you know, play in higher education institution and our role? When students come here on a student visa, there's no easy way for them. They don't know until they arrive, first of all, what all the rules and regulations are. And this could be their first time in a foreign country. English might not be their first language. So trying to navigate these governmental systems um, that are governed by Department of Homeland Security and Department of State is incredibly difficult for an 18-year-old. The kids have a traumatic event that they've suffered, and we've done. There's been a lot of studies, a lot of focus on, on, on childhood trauma and, uh, and the impacts long-term for those children. And the community and the and neighbors all end up having to, to pay the price. All right, we found a good area to actually try and get out the word to vote. Try and get the Jessica. Hey, take care. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he just gave him Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I'm, gotcha. I'm we got reinforcing. <laughs> yeah. No, we out here fighting for y'all. Please do. Please do. See, if you got five dollars to spare, she's not taking you know those hundred thousands of dollars from the big corporations. She needs a little, a little money. Yeah. Just little I, donations. Whatever. Just, that's not the important part. The important part is you, you vote for her on March third. Yeah. March 3rd is the primary. This is the like literally 10 times more important than November. 
because this is, you know, if you don't want one of those false equivalent like, you know, the Hillary Trump situation, yes. both of them are bullshit, yeah. then you gotta make sure you vote for the primary so we have somebody that actually do what you want in the community. Right in there. And that's uh, Jessica Cisneros. Just let us know where to go in the morning. You know, I put, we put that in the GPS and head there. Refreshed for tomorrow, the citrus parade. I see, I see you got a jump on that there. Yeah, we got to jump on the citrus parade, eating a, a delicious orange, probably from South Texas or from Chile or Mexico <laughs> or something. We're in Alice, Texas. Halfway between San Antonio and Mission. Halfway between San Antonio and Mission. There's a, like he said, there's the citrus. The, I'm excited. I can't lie to you. I don't know. Parade. I don't even. It's a parade. Three hour parade. What, what am I doing there? <laughs> Why <are you> doing <laughs> or am I going through this parade? Because Jessica Cisneros, the candidate, we are. She needs people to uh, pass out information to get so that she gets more well known. I'll pass the fuck out some information, man. You're going to take this pamphlet. Yeah, I'm going to take this. Yeah. Go for her. Go. Go I'm good. Nah, nah. They know, no, they know I'm good. They know I'm good today. I just woke up, about to go get some um, breakfast with the homie. Um, he already left because I'm crazy and I don't really wake up very well. I'm not really looking forward to this drive, man. But oh well, let's get it going. Hey, we just left uh, Alice, Texas. Um, it was it was pretty underwhelming. I don't. <laughs> Not a lot there, not a lot going on in Alice, huh? No, not a lot going on. Yeah. All right, let's get it. It looks like it's gonna rain too though, right? to people, try to let them know Jessica Cisneros, who she is, yeah. uh, and uh, why they should support her. All right, we out here, man, and it's a rough area. Not like it's in a bad area, but like, you know, like not doing great financially. You know what I'm saying? The houses over here are a little, a little rough. This is what happens sometimes, man. We got the dogs, can't really get by. Sitting at the front door. All right, to me, you know, she's for the people. She wants the people to know that she is. Rocks, you know, I, I live in, I live in Southern, you know, I'm part of the district. Um, you know, Mission, all into Laredo, some part of San Antonio. But like, I want change. Like, you know, the, all these years that he's been in office, I haven't seen anything that he's done anything for us. Maybe like, close to election, let's go fix those streets up that right. you know, bunch of people. <laughs> yeah. uh, Should be starting here pretty soon, I think. 
well, all that, so we'll see. So we just went through um, uh, the Citrus Parade here at, in Mission, Texas. Um, if you don't mind, give us uh, three reasons why I should vote for you real quick. I know you're busy. Yeah. No. Well, there's so many reasons why. So I'm running against uh, Henry Cuellar to represent Texas 28th Congressional District. Um, and I mean, there's so many reasons. So first of all, we're not taking a single cent of corporate PAC money, and that gives us the freedom and the liberty to be held accountable to the people of this district. Because um, I think that's really important. I was born and raised here in Laredo, Texas. Um, here in this district and I mean I think that's probably the best experience I can offer the people of South Texas the fact that I know what the issues are because I faced it myself and we're the campaign that's actually caring about the people we're making sure that we have good jobs that we have good health care that we're taking care of our families and not have them separated by a terrible immigration system so those are I think the top three if I have to you know name a few awesome I appreciate it. so make sure to let people know where to um, if they want to donate or you know yeah if you want to check out our website it's Jessica Cisneros for Congress.com. It talks more about our platform, the fact that we're championing Medicare for all, the Green New Deal, um, the fact that we're increased, uh, trying to increase the minimum wage as well. It's all in there, so please check us out. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, I know you're busy. All right, we got, I need some sleep. Y'all hear me?